Greetings automotive enthusiasts. Today we have for you a 2011 Mustang GT Premium 5.0 Coyote six speed manual in grabber blue. This is a cool looking car and uh, extremely fast. So I got it running for us. So let's just do a little quick walk around here. Um, yeah, it's just this car is such a cool scheme. I, you know, normally I'm kind of, you know, not, I'm kind of not into the blacking out the wheels and doing headlight covers and taillight covers and that sort of thing. But I'm just telling you, on this car, it works. You know, the, the wheels have been plasti dipped. You know, that can, you know, they can either be redone or stripped down. So, uh, you know, I just kind of left them like they are. Um, this car's got a pipes exhaust system. So, you know, it's uh, basically a manifold back, you know, so no cats or anything. So um, it's definitely got power and sound. Keep coming around here, just like I said, doing a quick overview. We'll come around the front and then start pointing out any little uh, details or flaws. I'm gonna go ahead and, let's just go ahead and pop the hood right now so you can hear it and then I'll shut it off so you can hear me talk about it a little bit better. Um, so check this sound out right here. Oh boy, be careful when you're leaving early in the morning on the neighbors. So let's pop the hood here real quick. Even did a little bit of uh, customizing and detailing in the engine compartment. We've got a cold air intake. I'm guessing basically this car's got intake, you know, uh, exhaust, and then uh, I'm guessing that they put a, a tune in it. Uh, the car runs extremely strong. Going on the inside here. And then we do have a check engine light. And that is for, you know, the uh, catalytic converters that are no longer present. So if you want to make all that go away, you'll have to put it back into more of a stock form. 111,000 miles, does have the shaker sound system. Oh, sounds awesome, little white snake. Let's shut her off and do the outside here for you. All right, we're gonna come, this is a, Four owner car shows zero accidents. I'm gonna zoom in here. Come across the front here. The headlights, uh, if you look in the pictures in the picture gallery of the ad, you know the headlights are in excellent condition. So you can pull the covers off and, and uh, run them without covers. They're in really good shape. But like I said, I got the covers on there. Coming across the front here. Fog lights look good. They painted the little pony blue there. Fog light, little teeny bit of pitting in the fog light. Bumper, looks like the bumper, th this car's uh, had paint on it in various spots of the of the car, I'll point it out to you. Like I said, it shows zero accidents, but it has had some paint work here or there. I don't know, you know, really the extent of it. Uh, but, you know, I, I looked the car over and I don't see any, any uh, you know, real collision damage or anything. You can see kind of, I think even on the front here, I'd say that the front end has been painted but actually it looks really good coming across the hood there's no hail on it or anything um, I think we got a little bit of a yep a little I don't know if it's vinyl or paint I'm not sure on that and then like I said we got the plasti dipped wheels which can be you know changed or left the tires they're mismatched and they're in just average condition nothing nothing great um, you know, so a person might want to put a nice matching set of tires on it. It drives perfectly fine though. Uh, a little blemish in the paint right here. You can kind of see it looks basically like a, a kind of a poor quality touch up is what that is right there. You can see where somebody just dabbed paint on it. Uh, windshield is in good shape. So, you know, there's a few little, little nicks and pits and so on and so forth, but no cracks or major stars. Going across the hood here, nice and clean. No hail, tinted out windows. Let's look down the side of the car. Don't see, really don't see any damage. Don't really see any dings or anything. Looks pretty straight, honestly. I just love the whole scheme of this car. And that grabber blue is so cool. Okay, see right back here. Looks like right here in, in the quarter panel. I mean, to me, it looks like a little bit of filler right there. 
and uh, and then you can see kind of a, a tape or a paint line going around the edge there but you know I mean when you come back I mean it's actually a very very nice finish on the paint very smooth not a lot of orange peel um, very good the, the plastic duplex is, is peeling a little bit but I'm not gonna mess with it one way or the other I'll let whoever buys it decide which way they want to go with it or they want to redo it or take it off completely or change the wheels even who knows <laughs> so anyway looking down the side again I mean everything looks really good the corner looks good the gaps all look good you know I mean I'm guessing it was probably some small you know just small little collision there all right coming across the back little some bubbles in the tent a little bit uh very cool looking wing kind of pan back here uh back bumper looks clean again the back bumper you know i'm gonna say it looks to me like it has been painted so i'm guessing when the had the damage over in the quarter they probably painted the bumper too to blend it and match it but it looks really good i mean especially from you know six feet or whatever i mean it the car looks fantastic if you get up close to it you know you can see some some blemishes in the paint and everything but uh but you know i mean we're not asking you know concours quality price on this car it'd be priced accordingly a lot of bang for the buck uh looking at the back here so we got a firehawk gt pretty thin on the tread um yeah so you know i would say this car really needs tires uh check back with us i mean there's a possibility that i might put tires on it if if uh, you know depending on sometimes people they come in and they would just soon buy it like it is because they want to put their own tire tires on it or they want to change the wheels and tires so sometimes i'll hesitate as long as the tires are safe and i won't put tires on it because everybody has different plans especially on a car like this somebody's probably going to change the wheels so probably won't put tires on it but if you want to buy the car and you like the uh, wheels and the stuff that are on it, and we can talk about tires. I do have a wholesale tire account. And so a lot of times we will purchase cars or purchase tires for a customer at our cost. So down the quarter, down the door is really good. There's one little ding here on the fender. Where was it? Okay, right here. You can kind of see a little bit there. Little, uh, just kind of a little bow in that fender right here you know something that you could pdr if you didn't like it but it's really not that noticeable no nothing that i would probably even change honestly and then checking out the front wheel too again same story the two rear tires are in worse condition than the two front tires a little mark right there a little door scuff that will probably buff out coming across the front here here's another look at this little little bitty doink you can kind of see it right there like i said just a real small no paint damage just a real small just a real small indention coming across the front again excuse me coming across the front again ah i just love it what a cool look just kind of mean looking <laughs> all right well let's do this here let's jump inside and take it for a spin and see how this blue devil runs oh, let's go awesome all right let's take a quick peek at the interior of this guy Door panels are in excellent condition. Carpets are in great shape. Looking at the driver's seat here. Got the leather seats. Looks good. A little bit of wrinkling, a little bit of wear on the seat bottom. But I mean, all things considered, very good condition. Take a look at the back here. Uh, the back looks excellent. No issues. Pretty much probably never been set in back there. All right, here's a picture of the VIN number real quick. All right, go across the front here. Like I said, 111,000 miles. Uh, dash is in excellent condition. No problems with the dash. Got the little aluminum trim on the glove box here. A couple little scratches right in there. Got the shaker sound system sync powered by microsoft and six speed manual transmission very cool got all the steering wheel controls and everything on the steering wheel door panel looks great on the passenger side passenger seat pretty much in excellent condition no issues center console is nice no issues all right, and then the headliner too. Uh, perfect headliner, 
no problems. All righty. All right, we're inside the Mustang. Grab the seatbelt and let's fire this bad boy up and take a spin. Fires right up, no issues, no noise. Of course, traction control off. Let's take this thing for a spin. Air conditioning's ice cold. Suspension, brakes, clutch, no issues at all. Um, you know, the exhaust is, you know, it's a pretty aggressive exhaust. So um, you could either add in some glass packs to tone it down a little bit, or, uh, um, you know, you could, uh, um, you know, add a muffler or change the exhaust or whatever, but I'm gonna leave it just like it is. Helping me here, holding the phone. Hey, everybody. Take your elbow off the door and suspend it. There you go, like that. All right. I'm going to head right here. All right, well, let's give it a little gas and see what it does here. Okay. Not for the uh, timid or faint of heart. This car pretty much will pretty much spin the tires all through second gear um so it's quick we'll just kind of roll on the throttle here second gear roll a little bit and i'll put the window up okay that's that's exciting <laughs> we got to be careful this car isn't exactly uh nonchalant here not inconspicuous, it definitely gets attention. But the nice thing about it though, really running down the highway, I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's really not loud just when you got it in cruising mode and, and not really uh, hammering on the throttle. Um, you know, it's really not too loud, but you get on the gas, I mean, it definitely, definitely makes a, a glorious noise there. perfect. You think clutch, brakes is all good. So we got a little bridge here. Let's see how, give it a little sound here. Okay, so I can't keep the <laughs> camera steady with all this. So this one's good. Yeah, this, this, this video here is going to have a little bit of the, uh, the, the action cam. This is the Blair Witch Project of uh, car reviews here. <laughs> Becky started screaming and hollering in the background. She's a pretty good passenger though, actually. Most people would have probably been screaming and hollering. Quiet as I can. <laughs> You're doing great. I'll give it, I'll just take it easy from here. Clutch, uh, synchros are great. You know, so you got to watch on the Mustangs is the synchronizers and everything. But, you know, just no training issues, no synchros. Um, just great, really. Uh, a set of tires and do what you will with the wheels and live with the cosmetics and you got a lot of car for the money very very fun so hey i appreciate you riding along with us today uh look us up euroasianauto.com euroasian auto inc on facebook uh, 800-741-8136 give us a call and uh if you would uh subscribe to the channel uh that way you can see the cars when they come in and click a like if you like this video Thanks for watching and happy motoring.